Hi, Sandpaper here, and I'm gonna show you how to play booking mode. Before doing anything, you might want to set the entrances to skip to save time. As you can see, I've already done that. Now for choosing a character, it really doesn't matter what character you pick. You won't be using your character except for refereeing matches anyway, but you can see I made my character to my own preference. But I don't care. Nor did I ask. Now that you're in the booking menu, your dweeb brain is wondering. Oh, what's this? What's that? What does any of this mean? Since the next door neighbor's kid is already getting annoying as hell, let's talk about how these icons work. These icons are called TV tapings. They look like this. No matter what, you will always have that from these weeks. Now let's talk about this icon. This icon is called a pay-per-view. This icon is similar to the TV taping, but instead of six segments, there are 10. This is what it looks like. This will always happen on the last week of the month. Now let's talk about how the segments work. This is the undercard section. You'd usually want to put the unpopular wrestlers here. This is the mid-card section. This is where you want to put your moderately popular wrestlers here. I preferably put the inter, lightweight, and tag team championships here. If one of those can't go to the mid-card, it would go to the undercard. Now for the main event. I always put the world championship here. The pay-per-view is similar, but different. Now there is a semi-main. The same rules apply here like mid-cards. But now the mid-cards here are for wrestlers in between moderately popular and unpopular. Now let's talk about how segments affect you. Do you see this tape right here? That tells you how much the show is rated. If all these segments were rated 5 stars or 6,000 as a score, the tape would show 5 stars. The maximum score on a segment is 6,000. Now let's talk about territory. Take note that the yellow countries are my territory, while every other color is someone else's. This is Antarctica, the current country I'm in. Don't ask me why, but apparently Antarctica is a country in this game. Thanks a lot, Matt. Anyway, the territory. If you click on the tape like we talked about earlier, you will be asked if you want to broadcast the amount of segments you've made. If you click the tape again, you will move on to the next week. Your show ratings will change depending how good the show was. Then you'll be asked which country you want to go to next. No matter what country you're in, you can go from one country to another country, no matter where you originally were. Now, if I want to reinforce a country from my territory, I have to go from one country from my territory to that other country. So I would send a plane from Antarctica to South Africa. So I can reinforce South Africa. Now we must go back to the segments once more to explain how these numbers work. Now let's talk attendance. This is the attendance record. To reinforce territory or steal territory, you need to have a higher attendance record than the initial attendance record you have in that country. So when you go to a country, you will be given some attendance. You can get more attendance by making great segments. But attendance is affected by that great match you made. Is that great match made on the main event? Or the undercard? If that great match was made on the undercard, it won't affect the rating. And poor attendance compared to the main event. Usually the ratings of the show is greatly affected by the main event. Which is why you have to make sure the world championship is on the main event. Because it gives great ratings. So once you have a better attendance than the country you're in, it is either reinforced if that country belongs to you, or you took that territory if it belonged to someone else. Now that you know how taking countries and reinforcing them works, I also have to tell you, to move to another country, put your finger on your country, then send it to the desired country by sliding your finger toward that country you want to reinforce and take. Now that we know how territories and segments work, let's talk about matches. As you can see, after going on the card and clicking main event, you will be given three characters, two wrestlers and a ref. Obviously my current champion is the guy on the right, but the guy on the left, Rex, is unpopular with a percent of 67. So we will change that by clicking him. And a quick note, you can tell who the world champion is with the red belt under their name. Yes, that belt. Anyway, so we need a popular wrestler against Boomtown our current champ. But I don't want to look through all 33 wrestlers. So what do I do? Luckily, there's an easy solution. 
Go over here to popularity and click it. And now, you can see who is popular. Oh, and another note. Notice how when you click wrestlers, these bars are either green or purple. That's because those are either faces or heels. Green are faces, while purple are heels. Faces are good guys, while heels are bad. And obviously people want to see good versus bad. So currently, our most popular bad guy that isn't a champ is this guy. So Wakas will be our opponent to our current champ. Great. You're already doing nice. But we can't have a match without drama. Go to the script tab. I want Wakas to tell Boomtown to kiss his title goodbye. But the script is flipped. To fix the script, I can swipe from one character to another to fix it. There. It's fixed. Now, let's play. You can play any way you want, but I personally choose spam grappling them. Look at how I do it. <laughs> I know the spam grappling looks like sex, but get your head out of the gutter. Yes, you. The person that's currently typing a sex joke in the comments. But let me explain why I like this thing. Notice how my adrenaline bar goes up when I do it. And if I use it in a match, it also brings the score up. And if I use my finisher, it brings the score up even more. Now that we're done talking about matches, let's talk about the roster. You can't stick with the same wrestlers forever. Sometimes, you need to juggle around wrestlers. To buy some wrestlers, go to your desired roster to buy some. But before doing anything, make sure you have at least $100,000 in your account. For some reason this is my favorite part. Click your desired wrestler to buy. Nice to meet you, Chief Breaker. We invited you here to discuss working for Wrestling Revolution. Chief Breaker still has six weeks left on a contract worth $19,200 to All-American Wrestling. Bearing that in mind, we're prepared to make the following deal to make everybody happy. Now that I'm done with horrible voice acting, I made this deal to convince him to work for me. Which is why you needed $100,000 from the start. Okay, I'm happy to sign up for that deal. I'll be registered in a couple of weeks. I also forgot to mention this. Sometimes your new wrestlers will start right away or start in a couple of weeks. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope this was very informational. If I missed anything, tell me in the comments. Anyway, have a good one. Why are you still here?